I'm Lois Wright Morton, professor of sociology at Iowa State University and project director of the Climate and Corn Based Cropping System Coordinated Agricultural Project funded by USDA National Institute of Food and Agriculture. As a coordinated agricultural project, also known as a CAP, we uniquely represent the land grant university mission to integrate research, extension, and education. Over 70% of the corn grown in the United States is grown in the upper Midwest. A particular concern is the changes in our long-term weather patterns and the vulnerability of our corn crop under excess precipitation such as we've seen in 2008, 2009, and then 2011 with the extreme flooding in the Ohio River Basin, the Missouri River, and the Mississippi River. In 2012, we experienced an extreme drought. Climate scientists predict that the extreme variation in moisture and precipitation in the upper Midwest will continue into the future. Farmers are very keenly aware of weather. As they make management decisions from when to plant, what kind of crop to plant, and the kinds of rotations and management techniques needed in order to protect that crop from too much humidity, as would be a concern for insect and pest pressure, a concern for germination, a concern for harvest, precipitation and dryness, and the timing of that within the season is an important element to farmer decision making. Many of our farmers already have conservation practices in place to protect against the loss of nutrients from our fields and from their farms into proximate water bodies. In addition to being concerned about nutrient loss, this project also looks at soil organic carbon, the uh, addition of organic matter, and how that would affect the capacity of a farm and a crop to uh, be resilient under different climate conditions. The really big goal of this project are to find a suite of practices in a corn-based cropping system that has a light environmental footprint. This means finding practices that retain carbon, that have resistance to drought, that reduce off-field, off-farm loss of nutrients under wet conditions or flooding, that ensures productivity for the farmer to stay in business.